and I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be doing a glamorous smoky eye super glam and gorgeous and extra and over the top. So if you want to know how to do that look, then just keep on watching. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to subscribe and turn on those post notifications. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So before I start this tutorial, I wanted to show you guys what was in this month's BoxyCharm box. There's a lot of good stuff in this month's box, so I thought I'd unbox it and share it with you guys. Here it is. So the first thing in this box is this Bare Minerals Transparent Powder Duo. It has a matte and then a glow. You have the new BoxyCharm Blink Eyeshadow Palette. I actually got to see this before it was in the box and swatch it, and you guys, this thing is so, so pigmented. Next up in the box, you have a eyebrow pencil, and it has a spoolie on this end, and then eyebrow pencil on this end. You guys know I love my eyebrows more than anything, so definitely always looking for a good pencil. Then there is the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip Lipstick in here. I don't know how I feel about the shade. I don't know if I'm, you know, I don't like the really bright pinks. I still like the formula. Oh wait, this isn't even that pink. Hmm. Let's swatch it. Wait, it's a really pretty nude. Okay, never mind. I actually like the color a lot. You guys, my favorite lipsticks are nudes, so this is a really pretty, pretty nude. And last is some setting spray, and it's a little travel size, so I'm definitely gonna put this in my backpack or on the go when I feel my face needs a little refresh. So I love, love, love setting sprays. So that was all that was in this month's BoxyCharm box, so now let's get into the tutorial. You guys, I spent so much time on these eyebrows trying to make them look like sisters, and I just, I gave up. It's never gonna happen. I don't know what else to do. So to start off my face, I'm going to be putting the pore professional in my T-zone where I have big pores, just to fill in my pores and have my makeup apply smoother. So I have really big pores on my forehead, my nose, and then I have some rough patches down here, so I like to blend it in. Now I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Strobing Liquid. I love a luminous highlighting base because it just keeps my makeup looking luminous and not cakey. So if you have issues with your face looking dry or cakey, make sure you use some liquid as a base or mix it into your foundation. Okay, so now that it's literally exploded all over, I'm just going to be rubbing this in. I don't even know if this product works for this, but I'm here to try it out. I'm hoping it'll work kind of like the strobe cream, but I don't think this is a moisturizer. So I definitely don't think this product was made to use as a base. I think it's mainly just to use as a highlight. There you go. That's how you achieve dewiness to the 15th degree. Okay, so now taking my Lancome Tint De Idol Ultra Wear Foundation. I'm gonna be taking a couple pumps of this for my foundation. And using my Crown C502, this is one of my favorite brushes for foundation, to blend it in. Guys, foundation looks actually really luminous, really pretty, and really smooth. We're good. So now I'm going to be taking my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I was going to be using this concealer to conceal. Guys, can we just talk about how fun it is to blend stuff out with these silicone sponges? For contour today, I'm going to be using my Hoola Contour Stick. Honestly, just all the hype with the Kim Kardashian Contour Sticks inspired me to use one. I'm excited. I'm seeing that free shape here. Honestly, you guys, Kim Kardashian is shaking. I'm excited to see how this looks. And I did put it down a little bit low on my cheekbones, so I'm gonna try to blend upward. Wow, that actually looks really good. I find that if you have dry skin, the less powder you use, the better it's going to look. So now using the sponge from this blend and bake kit, I'm using that to set my 
face in powder. Honestly, I find using sponges other than powder make it so much easier to set. So now that I have my face set, again, I go in with a very light hand in powder because I want it to stay luminous and not looking cakey. So moving on, I'm going to be taking the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer just to deeply contour my face a little bit more. <laughs> For blush today, I'm going to be using the NARS blush in the shade Orgasm. For highlight today, I'm going to be using the Crown Pro Bronze in Glow. You guys, this highlight palette, so pigmented, it looks so good. I'm going to be using this gold shade and this gold shade and then this white shade. Oh my god, you guys, I can't. This is so blinding. I like, I literally can't even. Yo! Oh my god! Oh my god, I don't know why this is getting me so excited, but it, it just is making me really happy. Guys, this is looking so good. It's so pigmented, I can't. Look how dewy my skin looks. I think I went in with a little bit too much, but like I just, I really can't with this. I'm holding myself to not do any more because if I do any more, it's not gonna look good because it's gonna just be like too much. You guys, my skin looks so dewy, it looks so good. Kim Kardashian is shaking. So yeah, let's move into the eyes. So for eyes today, I'm gonna be using the Crown Bold Palette. I want, on the side here, it has a bunch of mattes and these are super creamy and it has like all the colors to create a smoky eye so this is the palette i decided to use now i'm just going to be taking this shade right here this like white shade and i'm going to use that to set the crease to brow bone just to help blending further so taking this shade right next to this i'm going to be using this as my transition shade Here's a quick tip if you have hooded eyelids, just bring your shadows above your crease and don't blend it into your crease because I've been making that mistake my entire makeup career. And you can also bring it out a little bit further too, just to make it a little bit wider, I guess. So if you put your outer V a little bit further out, it'll make your eyes look bigger. Going for this for this look for sure because I want it to be glamorous and everything. I don't know how to explain this, but I want it to be winged out to make it sharper and just more precise and I'm taking the same transition shade and I'm just building up building it up right here outside my outer V to make it a little bit more deeper okay guys I don't know how much my camera just quit out because uh, I clicked like stop it and then I realized it started recording so I don't know what happened. I kind of did the tutorial on this eye right here. Uh, I guess I'll catch you up on like what's happened lately. I've just been blending and blending and deepening it up. And then I cut this crease right here and then put some, I don't know. I'll just show you because I still have this eye to do. So I'm going to cut the crease right here, but only halfway because it's a half cut crease. I'm just gonna cut it and I'm going a little bit over my lid just to make my eyes look bigger because I have hooded eyes. So now dipping in to my Blink and Boxy Charm palette, I'm gonna be using this gold shade right here. And you guys, these are really, really, really pigmented. So it's really easy to like foil your eyes. Okay, so the eye look is done. Now it's time for the lower lash line. For the lower lash line, I'm gonna be using a mixture of this color and this color right here. You 
You guys, I'm living for this. So I'm gonna finish up my eyes and I'll be right back. So I have my falsies on and honestly, this was very glamorous. Everything I wanted. So I'm gonna be going in with the Too Faced Melted Matte Lipstick and then also this MAC Lip Gloss to go over it because I want a shimmery nude lip. Sorry guys, my camera died and I had to put in a new battery and it stopped while I was mid doing my lips. So this is the finished product. Ugh. Anyway, I really like it. I think I look so cute and it's super glamorous. It's everything I could have wanted and more. So if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and follow me on all my social medias. I'll leave links down in the description and I'll see you guys later with another video. Bye!